Well, thank you, Macy. It's, a, it's such a great question. Um, I am passionate about the arts and the culture of New York City. Um, and you could make an economic argument very straightforwardly. Here's the economic argument. 15 million people came to New York for Broadway shows in the last year that they were open and they supported almost 100,000 jobs. Um, but I, I would say it's even more compelling than that because the arts and culture of uh, New York City would drive all these creative people here. Um, and then the creative workforce is what makes all these companies feel like they need to be here so that they can access that workforce. Um, so it all begins with the arts. Um, and if you look at the numbers, artists have the same impact on a community's economy as entrepreneurs do. So if a group of artists move someplace, the, the properties get more valuable over time. I don't know how, how many of you knew that. So, um, so, so Macy, I, I want to be a mayor that prioritizes the arts, that invests in it. Um, I'm going to be very frank about what's happening right now with Broadway and, and the rest of it. So, um, so Broadway shows have been shut down for you no. Know, uh, at this point, like almost a year. Um, and I talked to the head of uh, the Broadway industri industry. Um, and uh, I'm happy to say, and this is to the second part of your question, that if you want to try and help um, folks who are on the in the theater community in New York, which is what I'm centering on right now, there are other artists, but like, you know, this is kind of at least top of mind. Um, their, their organization is called Save Our Stages. Um, and they've been trying to support various people who've been out of work. 